I was in camp last year in New England. I had a roommate, fourth day of camp, just gone. I was like, oh, where's Mike? All his was gone. I was like, damn, that's how it happens. <laughs> had another roommate like two days later. Had him for like a week. Gone. I learned quickly. That's the hard truth of training camp. Almost as many players are cut as not. But veteran guard Eric Steinbach's biggest concern isn't making the team. It's whether he can make it through a full practice. What group is Steinbach in today? He's with the threes, but I'm going to push him in with the twos. And get him a lot of work. Because okay. he needs, we just got to figure it out. Yep, yep, yep. He sat out practice last week, hoping it might rejuvenate a body beleaguered by 10 years on the line. Next play, go to right guard. Keep bringing those feet. Go, Eddie. Go, go. Go. What do you think of Steiny? He's hurt. He actually came off once, and he got to the second level, but he just can't bend there. He can't sustain. He, he looked real stiff. It's tough to admit. You know, I think if you're a competitor, an athlete, you know, you never want to say it's your last, you know, go around. But when you wake up every morning and you feel like <laughs> for the first half of practice before you can even, you know, feel warmed up, it's it's tough. What's what's Stani at? I don't know. He wasn't on the walker. Damn. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, Eric Steinbach is going to announce his retirement from the National Football League. Enjoyed having him on the ball club, even though it was just for a short period of time. Uh, he was very, very well respected uh, by his teammates here, and I uh, wish him all the best. I don't think you're leaving here without leaving a little mark downstairs, mm -hmm. so which is uh, right. should give you some some yeah. gratification there too. So. It's, it's a better closure, I think, for me knowing you know I can leave on this note versus like I said, if I wouldn't have tried making the comeback. Right. You know, and, and, and it didn't work out, but at least I know now. Right. It ain't gonna haunt me like it would if I never sure. attempted it. Sure. Uh, we're hoping this thing worked out. I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean we're probably one of the most professional uh, men that ever sat in my chair. Yeah. So. I'm well, I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Once again, you guys yeah. gave me the chance to Absolutely. come back and try to try to do it, and. Uh, Wish you guys best luck. You've done it since you were, you know, 10 years old, and you've done it your whole life. Every kid's dream is to play in the NFL. I was able to accomplish that. You know, I made it to my 10th training camp. I was just, you know, blue collar guy came in and, you know, played the game he loved to do. But, you know, the bus doesn't stop rolling. This team is moving forward, and that's what it's all about. Okay, Saturday, there'll be. We'll be doing some player cuts. There's not a lot to say at that point in time for those of you guys who haven't been through it, but, you know, still, I want everybody, to, these guys have worked, a lot of them, since April 10th, since the day we got here, so they certainly deserve a couple minutes of our time. The whole tone of camp turns this week. For the top of the depth chart, it's a full-on dress rehearsal. The starters will play most of preseason game number three. For everyone else, it's the last chance to impress the coaches and save their skin, at least for the first round of cuts. Now everybody's feeling the pressure because nobody's exempt from myself to a 15-year vet to the three-week rookie. It doesn't matter. If you're not performing at this point, the coaches, the organization going to find people who can win. You know, last week you were late for the plane, right? Yes, sir. And, you know, you weren't in the proper dress code. Now I come to find out you're 15 minutes late today. From where I sit, I get concerned about that stuff. I, I want guys to just, you know, do what they're supposed to do, be where they're supposed to be. And, you know, right now, you know, two times in four days or whatever, that's not a good thing. I'm just, I'm getting a little queasy about you. you. You know, you gotta take responsibility for your, your own career, what you're doing, when you're doing it. I don't wanna have to come talk to you again. I mean, and, uh, I don't want you, I don't, what I wanna see you is out there or next time, you know, on a positive thing, it's not on this kind of stuff. You agree? Yes. Sir. All right, now right, you guys get to your meetings.
Next play, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. That's not, we're not still not practicing with enough tempo. Let's go quickly. Play fast, shall we? Come on, After losses in the first two preseason games, Joe Philbin is beginning to lose his patience. I tried to make a point that the offense, even, you know, covering the football and, you know, third play of the game, Reggie Bush is getting his ass kicked and there's guys just standing around watching. You know, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Camp can be a tough place to make friends, but undrafted rookies Jarrell Root and Chaz Alexi seem to get each other and have been in sync since the day they arrived. Like, I don't know, man. Just like a smaller MMA guy, those guys will sneak up on you and steal your pride. That was my biggest fear in life. MMA under Scott. MMA challenges me. Challenges your girlfriend. You Ch gotta defend challenges. Her. You gotta defend your girlfriend. You have to. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit trained. But, you know what I mean? What would you like, I'm gonna for? squeeze this <laughs> and give him a Van Dam to the stomach. No. No, because you're not, think about it. You're, you're expecting a punch. You're not even thinking about a kick. A kick's out of the question. So he's just Bang. gonna, he's gonna cheerleader it's me okay. in the side of the head. Because, <laughs> and I'm just going down? You're going down, I, dude. Dude, I think it's gonna take more than one. Like we Mike are Tyson. very similar in a lot of ways. Like, we, we both like movies, we both like doing all the same stuff, so naturally we made a connection. And then the fact that we're both here trying to fight for a spot, I think it just naturally brings you together. How many tackles do you have? I have one tackle and one TFL. So, two tackles. That tackle for loss is something different, sir. So just one tackle? No, so I had a tackle for loss, All right, and then I had a separate tackle. That would, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Tackle for loss is a tackle for loss. But it still goes in It's a tackle. Freaking, yeah, don't. But don't it seem like we've been here for like a month? Hopefully we're still here for the first, uh, first regular season game. Now it has been a month, and Alexi is trying to get noticed for more than his hair. There you go. Oh, thank you. Wow. Damn, I look good. The rookie is happy to still have a place on the roster, <laughs> but he's even more grateful to still be alive. You know that guy got lost at sea? He got lost at sea for eight hours. He's riding a jet ski. Coast Guard had to pick him up. Past the, this is in the spring training for... In the Gulf. Me and a couple friends decided to take jet skis out. So we did, and uh, I, being as intelligent as I am, took one out further than everybody else to the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. He drives out way farther than all his friends on the jet ski. His jet ski breaks down, won't start, won't go. Sitting there for an hour. I had to pee really bad. I was hot. I was like, you know, I'm just going to jump in the water real quick and uh, pee and then get back on my jet ski. Well, when he jumped in, he pushed off the jet ski in the current. Carried the jet ski where he couldn't and get he back keeps, to it. He gets swimming after the jet yeah. ski. And uh, I failed to realize how strong the current is in the Gulf of Mexico. He said he could see boats. He's yelling, hey. He said he Can he, you imagine he that? He thought he was going to die. You realize how big the Gulf of Mexico is, and you know that you know they're probably not going to find you. So I, I was praying a lot. Uh, just ready for the fact that you know it might be over. Eight hours later, he's just floating he in getting, the ocean. It was almost dark. dark. It was almost getting dark. dark. They're about. They said they're five minutes from calling off the search for the night. A uh, police helicopter. I saw one coming over. I went crazy, and uh, it spotted me. Circled around and radioed in a police boat to pick me up. Made it out, and <laughs> here I am. Knowing that that I've almost died, it makes you really appreciate what's important. I try to work my hardest every day. I try to, you know, do, do my best, but, you know, whatever happens, happens. Number 87, Les Brown, has never been lost at sea. But the tight end may be in over his head. Just lower. Yeah. Better. Now just stay low. But you see how you kind of finished and you were just hip to hip on him? Hey, we can start living with that. We can work off that. That's better. Better. Got your ankle again? Oh. This week, his reps are few and far between. Come on, man. Les is, is a guy that's in a, a bit of a difficult position because uh, those reps are going away now. I, I, I got to get in here. I got to get in. 
so he has to make those reps count. Next time that happens, you need to go run over him, okay? Run over him, and at the least, you just throw down over there, okay? You know, I got to make this team, and that's something that I've been shooting for since I signed my contract um, with the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, nothing's changed. I, I've, I've set high goals for myself, and I think a lot of people think that, you know, for me to do that, it's a long shot, but I believe in myself, and I think that for me to even just to get to this point was a long shot. So. You know, I'm just going to keep doing the things that, that got me to this point, and that's work hard and make some sacrifices and just believe in myself. Ah, come on, Lester. Better than that. Let's go. Wait, wait. Here, let me stick you. You dork. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going any lower. <laughs> That's good. You guys got up early to help like these young girls out get ready for school. How does it make you feel? Oh, it feels fantastic. The women's organization here gets involved all over the place, so doing a back-to-school event like this just gets the year kicked off. And I mean, the girls have smiles on their faces. They just can't wait to go, and we're feeling the same way. You guys decide to go shopping? Yeah! There we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lauren Tannehill seems to be settling into South Florida just fine. Her husband? He's still working on the details. Oh, shoot. Got my freaking wedding ring on. But he's getting there. Fast. Yo! Speed, speed, speed. You know, with Tannehill being our starter, it gives us a great opportunity to go out and win games. Uh, we've seen it on the football field in practice. Um, he's, he's really good accuracy, he's smart, he's poised, and as a rookie quarterback, you know, that's a lot of pressure on his shoulders, but he looks like he's a guy who's been in the league for a few years now, so I'm looking forward to you know, the great things that he's going to do for our team. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Damn. What? Oh. Ryan Tannehill has some moves, but the rookie still has a lot to learn. No. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So lost on the whole divisions, and I know our division runs better. You don't know the divisions? No. NFC North. No clue. It's easy. We're not north at all. No. NFC, NFC North. Green Bay's in it. Okay. Green Bay, Minnesota. Giants. Come on. Giants. Giants. I wasn't a huge pro fan growing up. You know, I wasn't loyal to any one team, so don't really know the divisions and, um, you know, even really conferences. You know, I know most of the conferences, but some of those I really have no clue. And, and they don't make sense. You know, you have the AFC East, and we're freaking in the bottom of the map, and the, the directions don't make any sense where the teams are actually are. All right, NFC East. FC East. Chiefs? <laughs> How do you not know this? Shocks me. Those. Well, I couldn't throw them when I was 11 either. They're too big. You can catch them. I'm 12 in that picture right there, catching footballs. All right. right. Jeff Ireland is a lucky man. His two great loves, family and football, 
have always been intertwined. My grandfather's a guy named Jim Palmer. Played with the Philadelphia Eagles from 1948 to 1956. And Palmer slides into the end zone. I spent 35 years with the Chicago Bears, and um, I was a ball boy from 81 to 88. So I was around the 85 Super Bowl team, and what a group of men that was. I mean, just a team. It was the essence of what a team should look like. Those years kind of molded what I wanted to do with my life. I've been trained since I was 11 years old to do this job. No amount of training makes this week easy, because this week, Ireland will have to cut the roster from 90 men down to 75. I still have to show the coaches exactly what I can do in these final two games. I, I, I like to think that maybe I, I've shown them, you know, shown them what I'm capable of. Go, go. You really can't control how many snaps you get, so the ones you get, you got to take advantage of. Damn, you try to get a final. <laughs> We're getting yelled at for not going hard enough. Chaz thought he was knocked around some, on the ground some. That was uh, very disheartening for him. Root, right now, if this guy's pressing, and I think he's going backwards rather than forwards, he's sinking fast, in my opinion. I don't know if we can save it. What are you screaming at me for? This might be the last game of football I ever play. You know, I'm trying not to freak out. Let's go, let's go, hey, hey, ho, 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 ho. Mixing it up with a teammate, is a sure sign you want a job. Taking plays off is a sure sign you don't. You gonna play one day and disappear the next? No, we okay. ain't done yet. Okay, I'll just, just wonder. What? Why you just gonna run into, which way did the center come? Tell me which way he came, he came this way, so go on around. Don't look like horse You ain't killing your damn self. It's nowhere close to what I got. The, the linebacker time. wasn't even inserted, coach. Like, yes. I was waiting for him to get in there. in there. I know what I saw, and I'll show it to you on tape. Eyeball me again, coach. No, I'm not eyeballing you, coach. I ain't doing that. Damn, man, he wasn't in there. It's not just the rookie, and it's not just today. The defense has struggled all camp. I mean, it's, it's time for guys to step up and act like pros and understand that there's a lot riding on everything that we do. We need a focus from this group that, that, quite frankly, we haven't seen yet. You get yourself ready to play. You understand? Get in that with the right mindset. This game, you approach like it's the first game of the season. Because for some of you, if you don't do that, you won't see the first game of the season. Everybody has anxiety right now. Just given that we haven't played well. It's coming to the point where it's now or never. Get off up, get off up. Okay, action, extension, Cam. Here we go, boys, let's go now, Cam. Ah, I see Cam, good rush. I see you, I see you, I see you, wait. I see you over here, I'm here. Keep working on that one, that's good, one. Fuck. You gotta turn it up, man, that's all it is. That's what it's time for. It's game week. Good tight coverage now. Let's go. Compete on every ball. Yeah. Squeeze it. There you go. Two four. Good flat drive. I want Tannehill. Yeah, yeah. Get his young ass over here. Huh? No. Tear his ass up. Let's go. Fresh meat. Yeah. I'm waiting for this. Yo. Ah, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he? What is he doing? Here you go. I'm gonna sign it for you. I'm gonna take this. Take this. Yeah, I told him. Good period. You want to tell us how we're having the fun? We started having some fun. The Florida good times might be coming to an end for one of the Dolphins stars. Jeff Ireland has received a text from the Indianapolis Colts asking whether he's willing to trade cornerback Vontae Davis. Well, that's, that's the same question that's going on in my head right now. It's just, you know, is there a... Uh... It's just got in the long-term plans. Well, if he's not, then we should consider that. If he is, well, I mean, I know what he does for us this year. He's a, you know, he's a contributing player. Gonna play quite a bit. 
he is developing. I think he's, there's a sense of maturity to the kid now. You know. Back in uh, April, we talked about uh, exclusively what our identity uh, as a football team was going to be. Football comes down to one thing, win the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Finish in a dominant position. Jake Long, finish in a dominant position. Our quarterback standing tall in the pocket in a dominant position. Our backs running over people in a dominant position. You try to make this team, do what you have to do to make this team. Tomorrow we start that identity. You guys decide what you want to do. Preseason game number three here in South Florida, the Dolphins and the Atlanta Falcons. Folklore says a bird on a wire means a storm is coming. For the 2012 Dolphins, it's already here. Cut start tomorrow. What's up with you? I tell you, when you ran on the field, right, you see those cheerleaders? Every one of them looked. Every cheerleader went like this as you were running on the field. Holy smokes. That was the most painful part, being in there in that locker room, seeing everybody get dressed. That was tough. I haven't experienced that too many times. You're here for a reason. That's to win a job. All of us. Old guys, new guys, in between guys, everybody. It's to win a job. Now go win it. Let's go. Let's go. Woody! Let's go. Go. That really opened up a hole for Reggie Boyd. Nice run, and there it is, 18 yards. Hand off to Thomas here. Oh. Goes over a man and somersaults. Got a little wake-up call with Daniel Thomas here. The running backs are picking up the offense. Even better, the offense finally picks up a running back. Dropping back to pass. The pressure steps up. Going to run 40, 45. First down midfield. And slides down inside the Atlanta 45. And he's smart because he slid perfectly. He took our advice. Hand off to Reggie running right, runs into trouble now in the backfield trying to come left. Tannehill gives him a block. And that's all Ryan Tannehill. Hey, Ryan Tannehill's a bit of an athlete. Hey, how about that? Hey, get out of the way. Huh? <laughs> I love the way this offensive line's coming off the ball. What a block. Oh, my God. Yep. Fullback got to kick his ass. Javorski Lane in at fullback. Fakes the handoff to Thomas. Now he's rolling to the left. Has Lane. Dumps it off at the 25. Javorski breaks a big tackle to the 20. Dolphins play with an attitude, playing physically right now. Javors and Javorski Lane just made this football team. The Dolphins are set up in scoring position. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Good job by the fullback. You see that? Good job, 41. Good job, 41. The Dolphins' offense is moving frenetically, but mistakes in the red zone are keeping them out of the end zone. Get the shoe on. Shoes off. Jonathan Martin, shoes off. He had a wardrobe malfunction. Hey, Jimmy, tell Mosley to tell you that yeah, the guy's got yeah. a bad... Yeah. We yeah. can't waste time out like yeah. that. Yeah. How are your home brace shoes doing? She actually, they're actually fabulous. Second and ten, four wide receivers. The quick toss and an incomplete. Somebody make a play for him, make a play for him. On third down and goal from the four. Tannehill fires. Cross. Looks like Anthony Fasano. Pressure up the middle. Picked up the pass. Is intercepted. That's bad. That's bad. Dang. That's what I do. That's what I do, Johnny. Don't, don't. Ah! It's a bad throw. Or what? I can't tell how the mic tip, you know. Okay. I had no bad Yeah, I would say. Vontae Davis is on the trading block, but a strong game might keep him in Miami. Here's Ryan. 
intercepted. There's a flag there. Bonte Davis. Flag is down this, at the 10-yard line, and Bonte is, Davis is going to carry it all the way. It's He's going to carry it all the way back. Oh, they threw the flag. They threw the flag. On who? Vontae. Vontae. They're going to say Vontae pushed him down. Because I was watching Vontae. <laughs> he just pulled the guy out of the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it, it looks good <laughs> until they walk back, yeah. 85 yards. Yeah. You knew they weren't going to allow that. <laughs> the rest of the defense looks better. They play fast and physical. Coverage is tight. Everyone looks controlled and coordinated. Incomplete. Nice job on the coverage by Sean Smith. Saving that uh, third down, getting them off the field. They may go, Miller. Get ready. And they're going to go for it. The Dolphins have an opportunity to make a stand in their own territory. It'll be a pitch right side, and he is stood up by Sean Smith. And the Dolphins defense holds on fourth down. There go. That's the idea. Nice. Nice job. That's the way. That's the way. Nice job. You, 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 you showing them. You showing them. I got, I got a choice, man. I got, I got to do a wrap up, dog. You, you so damn big, you wrap up. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to keep showing the edge of the tackle, dog. Then they can't say all right, it's halftime here at Sun Life City and with the score, the Falcons nine and the Dolphins three. Hey, it's a good first half. We uh, did a hell of a job against the run, and uh, for the most part, we were tight in the coverage and we were on them. All right, we can pressure this guy. All right, hey, man, let's go out and win this game. The one thing again, we have got to take the ball off them. So gang tackle them, strip the ball, and get the ball off these guys. Let's go kick their ass. Let's go. Ryan pump fake going for the end zone, far sideline. It is caught. Touchdown, Roddy White. You're kidding me. Well, Jonathan Wade gets beat in the uh, corner of the end zone. Second and seven at the 39-yard line. Dolphins bring a little bit of a blitz. It's picked up, and they're going for Toon. Deep left sideline makes the catch. Touchdown. Tim Toon beat Jonathan Wade. Jonathan Wade is saying to himself, I will be glad when this day's over. Actually, his days could be numbered after a game like this. Jarrell Root, number 70, knows he doesn't have any room for error either. Jarrell Root in, uh, undrafted free agent from Boise State, playing well along that defensive line. Did you get it? Huh? I believe you on it. I yeah. believe you on it. Keep rushing down the pass. Good work. Get outside, Root. Come on, Root. Knock him up the field. Root's got to get his ass outside and contain the thing. It's kind of hard to see. He's like in a crowd of people, but he's right there. It's easy to get lost in the crowd when you don't leave the sideline. Les Brown plays only a few snaps on special teams. Chaz Alexi doesn't play at all. I think we might get to get in some rain, they said, on the radar. I don't know if it'll be here by the end, but it feels like it with the wind and the cold. Oh, here, come, here it comes, brother. It's going to be us for the rest of the end. Here it comes. Here comes the rain. Yeah, I'm going inside. Getting ugly, boys. Yeah. Go, go. A little wet, dude. Let's go, bud. We need to pick this up going into the regular season. We keep using this word urgency, right? There's none. Huh? You guys got goosebumps. No. No, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So the Dolphins will go to 0-3 in preseason. The first cut down will be to 75 by Monday at 4 p.m. Honestly, if they're not going to put him in, he can't catch a pass. He can't catch the ball. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure, you, I hope, and I think I know that you're kind of getting tired of the same feeling that I'm getting tired of. But the fact of the matter is we haven't put together a 60-minute effort in all three phases. Have we yet? Sorry, we haven't done it. We've got to make some cuts. We've got to go down to 75. So we have to make some difficult decisions, all right? And that's, uh, you know, that's, that's just the nature of the business and what it is. So, you know, be alert tomorrow. That, that'll, that process will start unfolding tomorrow. Well, it's good to see you. I know. <laughs> I missed you. Missed you. Babe, Josh. Josh, this is Chase Lesham with the Miami Dolphins. We are actually going to be releasing you this morning. If you could please just head up to the facility as soon as you can. And please bring your playbook and your iPad and any other materials you may have to Jeff Ireland's office. We're going to release you this morning. You know that already. Uh, you know, it was a tough last night, tough night last night, but you know, I've seen better days from Jonathan Wade. There's no doubt about it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, these are these are un unfortunate situations that we have to be talking. Okay. So you know we're releasing you, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I know you're upset about it. You know? Yeah, I'm upset because I didn't get no preseason looks. That's the only reason why I'm upset. Yeah. I, yeah. I understand your frustration. You know, we make our evaluations throughout the course of the process, and uh, you know, unfortunately, this is the decision we've made. I just feel like you guys just. Just give me a shot, man, just to show what I could have done in the game or just, like, I didn't get any game carries in the game or, you know, like, I know I'm not going to say guys had their set positions, but just, like, give me a try, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, well, I, I mean, that's why we things. practice, too. You know, we, we've seen some things in practice, and, you know, we put, uh, we put the game plan together based on what we see in practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are crappy circumstances, but you'll go on. You're a survivor. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Any questions? One of the rookie defensive linemen has to go too. Not because he didn't work. Not because he can't play. Take upstairs, bro. But because the numbers just aren't there. You should never really expect this, you know? Hello. Yeah. Hey, Chaz, how you doing, bud? Hey, nice try. Let's see right there, bud. Okay. How's it going? I don't know. Good. We'll, we'll do that. You hang in there. All right. Look. Um, you know, obviously, you know we're releasing you this morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a pretty good group down there. You know, mm -hmm. we have some guys that we've relied on for a couple of years, and we're going to continue to rely on them a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would tell you that um, you know the practice squad is still an option. Okay. Right. I can't guarantee it right now because I don't know how the roster is going to shape up. But um, I just appreciate how you came in here and you busted your ass and you, you know, did everything we asked you to do and, and did it with a smile on your face and you just came to work. I appreciate I that. Trying to. Yeah. So, did you have any fun? Yeah. Yeah. It was a great experience. And I, I'm not just saying that. It was, <laughs> it was, uh, you guys are a good organization down here. Yeah. And, you know, maybe if I, uh, if I come back, it'd be awesome. Well, like I said, you know, keep your head up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep training, you know. Uh, anybody calls me on you, it's going to be exactly what I told you. Appreciate okay. that. All right? Okay. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Right. You have a good one. All right, you Take too. Care. All right, guys. Thanks, man. You're never sure it's coming. I mean, obviously, you're in this since April. So it's like, you know, you, you give everything you have and you hope it's enough, but sometimes it's not. You've been a joy to coach, you know what I'm saying? It's just we can't, they can't keep them all. So go back home, work hard, uh, hopefully I get another phone call, and I, I think I will. There's only one more cut left to make today. How much, man? Shoot you upstairs. What's up? How old are you? I just turned 25 in June. You turned 25? Yeah. Hey, look, you haven't played football in a while, but you're not old. 
it's difficult to find guys that they, they can run four five and you know that are six three and two hundred forty five pounds and mm -hmm. I couldn't have asked for a guy that more represented what we want from a makeup standpoint than you. You bust your tail every single day. You got hit in the mouth. You got back up. You start swinging again. When the pads come on, that's where our weakness is right now. Right. Well, we know our weakness, though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the good thing about this is that it's defined. Yep. Okay. It, you know what you got to get better at. You got to be able to block. You got to be able to hold your blocks. You got to sustain them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, keep turning away at it. Yeah. Uh, no, I will absolutely. Just, just gotta get stronger, and that's something that I can work on. And. You know, I believe in myself, and I think that that I belong in this league. So, it's gonna keep working, and well, believe in yourself. That's a, that's, yeah. a, that's a good thing. We're gonna make the wave today, but maybe our paths will cross again. You know, soon. Okay. Ah, oh, it's tough. You know, a lot of great friendships, and you know, more than anything, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna miss these guys, I miss my coaches. You were outmatched, you were undersized coming into this thing and you fought your ass off. You gave everything you got, man. You got, you got to hold your head high now. You got to be proud of what you accomplished, okay? You got nothing to be ashamed of. You got nothing to feel bad about, okay? You're a freaking stud, Les. I know this hurts, it's hurt your pride a little bit. Don't let it get you down. You got nothing to be ashamed of. You, you walk out of this building with your head high. If you ever need anything, give me a call. All right? I appreciate you, Coach. Hey, I appreciate you, OK? Anything, you call me. <clears throat> All right? I'm keep working. I know you will. I don't I doubt that. Wants it more than I do. I know that, Les. I can promise you that. I know that. Take care of yourself, all right? You too. Good luck to you. Thanks. <clears throat> This was kind of the first step for me, and you know, you hate for it to end like this. As far as with this team, I, I had a, a real strong bond with the guys here, and I wanted to be a part of this. Good watching you guys. So we lost LB this morning. He took it well, but obviously he's a little heartbroken, which I don't blame him. There's obviously things I need to work on and things I need to polish up, but I think I've got a skill set that's unique that can be used in this league, and I think there's a place for me somewhere. I'm going to keep working, and I'm going to bust my tail, and I, this won't be the last you guys see of me, that's for sure. Vontae Davis will be playing football this season. He just doesn't know for what team. interest in Vontae. It started with a fifth and a sixth. It's gone to the, went to a third and, and uh, I told them, you know, unless they're serious, then I wouldn't even return the text. And now they're to two. And so I've been honest with you the entire time, but it has to be something that's going to blow me away. You call me, you call me and I have to be the one, you know, you're getting the player. I have to be the one that has to be satisfied with, with the compensation. I went from a six to a conditional six and they just don't want to do a six this year. Right. 
What do you think? I'm thinking about pulling the trigger, but yeah. Yeah. coming down to yeah. best way. Yeah. Monte, what's up, Jay? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, okay, so the, the rumor is true, okay? Uh, we just traded you, okay? We traded you to the Indianapolis Colts, all right? So, um, you okay? No, I'm going to call my grandmother. You going to call your grandmother? Yeah. Okay, this hasn't, this hasn't hit the papers or anything like that. Okay, well, why don't we just do, why don't we do a little business first, okay? Before you call grandma, okay? There's a little bit of urgency because you got a storm coming. They probably want to get you on a plane here pretty quickly. Okay. Okay? Now listen, you know, Monte, you, you kind of up and down, you know. We, we get, you know, we got to get it to where it's just a little small wave where the consistency level is, is more consistent. And uh, before you become a great, which I think you have the ability to be, you got to, you got these waves got to be a lot smaller, okay? And that's what, that's what, you know, that's probably why you're being traded. You know, I'm just being transparent with you. I want you, to, I want you to know why uh, it, it hasn't, uh, hasn't worked for, for us here. Uh, I think the world of you is a person, and I appreciate you busting your ass here as the as Miami Dolphin in the last three years, um, and uh, I know you'll do well. Thanks, I know man. you'll do well, okay? So who y'all trade me for? Well, a couple picks. A couple picks. All right, pal. All right, thank you. Hey, listen, we've had some ups and downs, but everything's going to be positive, all right? I want you to have a great career. Thanks. All right? All right, man. Appreciate Take care, about it. All right, man. Thanks, man. See you, Bill. Hey, you, know, you can look at this two ways, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it can, it can be a very good positive for you. All right, so make it a positive, all right? Okay. All right, man. All right, I care about you, bud. Right. Be sure and call the coach back now. Okay.